Hey, boys and girls, it's time for the children's sermon. I'm Pastor Doug, and I'm glad to be able to spend a little time with you today. Um, but I'm going to start with something kind of hard. Um, it's called a pop quiz. Now, if you're not familiar with a pop quiz, a pop quiz is something that you're not expecting, but you're going to get tested on it, like you haven't had time to prepare. So here's our pop quiz for today. Let's see how you do. Okay. The first question is... Do you know what is 20 times 20? Some of you might know it, but I bet a lot of you won't. 20 times 20. Anybody know? Anybody get the right answer? It's 400. 20 times 20 is 400. All right, next question. All right, um, let's see. Next question is, does anybody know the 20th book of the Bible? Oh, that one's even harder. Oh, I bet there's not many people who'll know that one. Not without looking it up. It's too hard. Yeah, it's the book of Proverbs. Proverbs. Stay with me now. All right, here's the third one. Okay, ready? Can you tell me what you'll be doing 20 years from now? What will you be doing 20 years from now? Got any ideas? Maybe, you yeah, know. Your guess is as good as mine. We don't know for sure, but there's some things you probably want to do, some things you hope to do, right? Certain jobs you want to do when you grow up. You know, maybe you want to get married 20 years from now. I don't know how old you are, depending on what you're, how old you are as you're watching now. I mean, who knows where you'll be 20 years from now? Those were hard questions. A hard math question, a hard Bible question, and then a question about the future. Those were hard, really hard. Well, I want to tell you about somebody in the Bible today who was given some hard things to do. His name was Jeremiah, and Jeremiah was a prophet. And God called him to speak to the king and to the people of Israel when he was just a youth. Now, we don't know how old he was, but the Bible said he was a youth when God spoke to him and said, I want you to prophesy to the king and to all the people. And he said, Jeremiah said, God, you got to be kidding me. I'm just a youth. I don't know what to say. I don't have the knowledge. I don't have the right words. There's no way I can do this. And God said, don't worry about that. I'll help you out. I'll give you the knowledge. I'll give you the right words to say, and you'll be just fine. And so he did it. He did it. And that's the prophet that Pastor Julia is going to be um, sharing a little bit more about in, um, in the sermon for the adults today. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, who was just a youth when he was called by God. But here's what I want you to think about. That... If God ever asks you to do something, and God will, I promise God will give you the knowledge, the words, all the abilities that you need in order to accomplish what He asks you to accomplish. I promise that's what God does. So you may not know the answer to everything, and you may not know how to tell the future, and you may not know... Um, you know, just some of the really hard things in life. But when God asks you to do something, he will give you the knowledge and the ability to do it and to make sure that it's, that it's done right. Because that's what God does. And he will talk to you. He will invite you. So I think that's really exciting. Start listening. Start getting into the Bible and spending some time in prayer. And I believe... God is going to ask you to do something for him and will give you all the knowledge you need, which is pretty, pretty cool. Let's pray about that. Holy God, Lord, it's amazing that you would call on each of us, people as old as me, and people much, much younger, and people much, much older, to do your work. Lord, we know that you will give us the knowledge and the abilities that we need. Give us the courage 
to say yes. Amen. Thanks, everybody.